Hey, sweets. How are ya? I'm doing alright. Yeah, life's hectic as usual. <laughs> it's kind of expected. I wonder what life is like without being so hectic. But, um, when you called me this morning, you sounded like you were pretty hectic. Is everything alright, honey? No, that's fine. What's up? <laughs> you could have told me over the phone. Honey, 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 honey. I don't care. I don't mind at all. You could have told me. I would have been totally fine with it. You made me worry all day. I was like, why did you call me and why were they in such like a frantic mess? <laughs> don't worry. So you need your makeup done. You go to me, of course, huh? <laughs> That's fine. So, what exactly are you looking for in your look tonight? Are you needing a evening eye, or do you need kind of just a natural going out with to the bar with some friends kind of look, or are you thinking go crazy, drag queen look? Okay, we won't go. We won't make you a drag queen. I promise. Evening eye? That's fine. So, um, I don't know if you've ever had an evening eye before, but it's sort of very dramatic. Um, it's not as dramatic as a drag queen look, but it's definitely, like, bam in your face. You definitely know that, um, you took a lot of time and effort into getting your makeup ready for the night. So if you're cool with having a lot of makeup on, I'm cool with doing it. Alright, sweets, we'll get started then. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do first, though. Here. I'm going to open up, um, I have two makeup bags today. I have this one, which is more or less, uh, like, foundations and, uh, different brushes. There's a few, um matte sort of based colors in here for eyeshadows and in here there's a lot more a lot of brushes listen there's a lot of going on in here you can like lift these weights <laughs> ah. so this one has more like dark eyeliners dark eyeshadows just dark sort of dramatic colors. Mm -hmm. Well, let me do your brows first because you probably haven't done your brows in a while, have you? No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just there are definitely a few there are definitely a few um, stray hairs in the book. So, these are just a normal pair of tweezers. I just cleaned them a few hours ago. I clean my makeup brushes almost every day, especially the tools like this. So don't worry, they're clean. They're just, uh, they're just Revlon tweezers. Nothing special. And then this is a makeup brush, and it's a sort of a comb for your brows. So... What you do is you can use either side and work your brows, shape them, whatnot. So I'm just going to comb them outward and then um, I'll fix them up after, but I want to just sort of get them in a weird shape, pluck any strays I find. We'll go from there. All right? It tickles, I know. All right. Uh other brow. Let me know if any of these hairs hurt and pulled out. Yeah, they don't seem to be 
that much of a problem, but it never hurt to fix up anybody's brows. This one might hurt. Okay, I'm glad it didn't. Let me comb them out again into a, a nice shape. Alright, so, hmm, I think the way your brows are done, I'm not going to pencil them on, I think a natural brow is definitely the way to go, you have a really nice arch already, so I don't want to, I don't want to play with them too much, but you definitely, hmm, I definitely think I'm going to put a little bit of cover up on. Not an all over foundation, just a problem spot cover up. It's um it's just so you don't appear sweaty because sometimes when you're out and you have no makeup on, your pores will show more when you have that makeup on and you have foundation on and you have um powder on. You don't have to worry so much. The makeup will cover up a lot of sweat and that fun stuff. Now I just need to find a shadow, or not a shadow, excuse me, a cover up that matches your skin tone. I think. I think this will do the trick. It's a, it's a creamy, natural color, sort of matted mousse foundation. So I'm not too worried about it not matching your skin. Because, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm going to take this little Eco Tools foundation brush. Just get some foundation on the brush. I think I'm gonna focus on your brow bone sort of area. I see a few uh, problem spots and a little on your chin and then under your eyes. It's very typical. Okay. Stay still for me, honey. You excited to go out tonight or a little nervous? Okay, that's one's the above your brows all blended, so don't worry. Need a little more makeup. You're nervous? What's there anything nervous about, sweetie? Oh, you're gonna have such a good time. I don't know why you're so nervous, honey. I understand. I'm nervous too before I go out with a group, but I think you'll have fun. And let me get your chin, so kind of stick it out a little bit. Ah, oh, sweetheart, don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll have fun. I know you will. Let's see. I think a little powder might be necessary. Only because, like I said, if we put a cover up on and you sweat a lot, um, it's just going to sweat right off. But with a powder, it's going to stay. This is by Sephora. It's a mineral powder. And I have a stippling brush right here. A nice soft brush. What you do is instead of doing circular motions, you kind of pat, 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 stippling the brush on your face with the makeup on it. Stippling brush. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay. And you pat off the excess. 
only because you don't want to get um, a cakey sort of look. No one wants to be a cake face. No, of course not. Under your eyelids. And little chin. Just push it out again. Good. So your evening eye look is going to require a bit of eyeshadow. I have a really nice primer in this bag. Here it is. By Urban Decay. You know about Urban Decay, right? They're very, very high-end makeup brand. And this is an eyeshadow primer potion. It's for long-lasting eyeshadow base. So you only need a little drop. Just take a little on your finger. My hands are clean, so do you mind if I touch your eyelids? Okay. And so do a sweeping motion and patting it on a little bit. And mm -hmm. what it does is it kind of makes your eyelids appear to be lighter, and that's what the makeup stays on. It's like I said, like you know how you put the foundation on, then you do the powder because it presses it. Well, same thing. The foundation, I mean the the primer, sort of presses the makeup. Mhm. Mm it's, it's very fancy, I know. <laughs> so uh, let me grab you my favorite brush. This is a blending brush. See this end right here. It's a smudger. And then on the other end, this is made more for eyeliner. But I like to sort of just put very thin coats of uh, eyeshadow and get in little tiny crevices. Yeah, you can never go wrong with a little with a little bit of a uh, tweak in the rules when it comes to makeup, huh? So we're going to go with a kind of a smoky look. I'm going to start off light, get a little darker, and be dark as hell here. Same for the other eye. Light, kind of dark, dark. So. This is a brown. This will probably be in the middle, sort of towards the end. And then over here... A nice natural color. I'm gonna go right in the crease, so to work it to the middle. And I know I have a black in here somewhere. The downside of having so much makeup is never being able to remember what palette has what color. start with that color. I do it all on your lid. And specifically the crease, like the little corner crease, if that makes any sense. You work it to the crease and then you go back over it and sort of blend it in. Yeah, I need a little more on the other side. In the look, I think it's gonna look very, yeah, uh, very edgy. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, edgy's fun. I wear edgy makeup all the time when I go out at night. It's threatening. People don't want to mess with you. <laughs> so now, using this Smashbox or the brown color. Okay, so starting in this general area. Just work it in with the other end of that brush the one that's actually kind of for the shadow it makes it uh, makes it darker more thick, you know and I'm going to need a little bit more for the other side yeah, I just got to put it in the little area a little below the crease Looks good though. Can you shut your eyes real quickly? Okay. Now we take the dark, dark, dark black and okay. Put it right in the corner, kind of like from here to here make a little like an L but like a sideways L <laughs> like an angle, a little cat eye yeah, you got me now I know you understand, honey okay so your shadow's all done and I think what I'm going to do for you is, hold on, hmm, I think a pencil liner in the corner would be the best option. So you see how I have my wings going out? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil liner, this one right here. It is by Urban Decay also, so it's very nice and expensive. And get right in your little corners and just fill it in. And I think I think that's good. I don't think I'm gonna do a full on liner look. Might be a little too dramatic. Let's just do still got a little pencil here. It goes on so smoothly. It's a uh, very, very much like a cream. Watch. Just a little simple stroke. You don't have to worry about uh, anything else when you put it on. fill it in a little bit. Yeah, I think it's... Shut up. Okay. I like it. Next, uh, need a little dab of mascara. Uh, I don't want to over... overdo them. So, I know last time I did your makeup, you were afraid of these the mascara curlers nobody likes these they're freaky and people think you're gonna pluck their eyes out when you do them but nothing scary so stay still ready one two three four five six Seven, eight, and other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So let's see what mascara. 
we can use for you. Um, this is by Benefit, and it says they're real. So, this is just a sample size that um you get sort of at those beauty conventions. Yeah, so I think I'll do that. Your... I don't think I need to do your bottom lashes unless you're concerned that they're not going to be large and in charge. Never pump your um, mascara. Yeah, so when you take it out, some people will push it in and then sort of do like a repetitive motion. You're not supposed to do that. If you swirl it around, it's okay. Okay, but it's better to just go like that. Yes, every girl does make a really funny face when she puts mascara on, if you're wondering. So many people always ask me. Well, you have to. You can't just put on your mascara like stone cold face. You gotta... You know? And I'm gonna do your bottom lids. Other eye now. Yeah, it's impossible for a girl to put on mascara without making silly faces. We gotta do it. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work. All right. I like it. I really like it. Um, a little, little lip gloss, and you will be all good to go. Nope, not lip gloss. <laughs> Here it is. Another Smashbox product. What I want you to do is I want you to pucker. Yes, you should know how to pucker your lips. How old are you now? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it in with this color. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is uh, kind of use it as a base. I typically do lip gloss first and then lipstick second, but it's really your call. I mean, do you want lipstick? It's red. Are you sure? Okay then. I was gonna put some red lipstick on, but I already have some purple. Sort of a violet on, so I'll cover it up. Just a nice little pink shimmer to go with the, the look I'm going for today. Oh no, this is my everyday look. I don't change out my look ever. I change out my makeup look like once a year. I'm lazy. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Your eyeshadow looks incredible, per usual. I wonder why. And your lips and your skin look fine. Your brows look incredible. So I think you are going to rock it tonight, honey. I'm excited for you. Oh my god, you had to text everything in the morning. Oh, please text me all the photos too. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, whatever you do, just make sure you have fun. Don't do anything too stupid, too crazy. But you gotta have a little bit of fun. So... I'm not going to scold you in the morning if you have a little too much fun and you're a little cranky when you wake up, okay? <laughs> Alright, it was so good to see you. We have to do this again sometime. I love doing your makeup. I'll 
think about letting you do mine. I'm a little skeptical on other people doing my makeup when I know how to do it. <laughs> All right, sweets. It was so good to see you. Bye-bye.